We have an update uh, regarding this incident we showed you around 5 p.m. on this uh, Thursday. It was a kidnapping. This now in from uh, Grand Forks Police, uh, quote, at July 8th at approximately 4.27 p.m., officers of the Grand Forks Police Department were dispatched to the 900 block of Belmont Road for reported child abduction. Through preliminary investigation, it was determined an unknown male suspect had forced a juvenile female Female into his vehicle and driven off. The juvenile victim was located unharmed a short distance from the original location of the abduction. The victim and some friends who witnessed the incident were able to provide a suspect description and description of his vehicle. A subsequent investigation identified 52-year-old Grand Forks resident Robert John Burr as the suspect. Burr was located and arrested in Grand Forks without incident. One count of kidnapping, a Class B felony, has been forwarded to the Grand Forks State's Attorney's Office for consideration of formal charges. The investigation remains open and active. Anyone with information is urged to contact the Grand Forks Police Department at 701-787-8000. And Burr faced similar charges in East Grand Forks four years ago. Here's our report from July of 2017. 48-year-old Robert Burr faces felony charges of attempted kidnapping, false imprisonment, felony domestic assault, and gross misdemeanor stalking in connection with the June 26th assault on the East Grand Forks Greenway. According to court documents, a female victim was rollerblading when Burr smashed into her from behind with his bicycle. Then he pulled her 10 to 15 feet off the bike path. The victim started screaming and he punched her in the mouth. The victim was able to get her rollerblades off, break free, and run away. Police were able to file charges against Burr after another woman came forward and identified Burr as the person who had also stalked her. Burr is already in the Grand Forks County Jail for charges of terrorizing and assaulting his girlfriend on July 10th. Again, that story was from 2017. He did some time and was given probation. And now, four years later, he's charged with another similar crime in Grand Forks. I'm Neil Carlson reporting for iNews.tv.